Hey, yo, my dears, welcome to a new video. This is about web pen testing and interesting vulnerability in the email fields of a uh, web application. So, uh, what is the vulnerability? The vulnerability is about this research. Uh, this research is the, the last year of research, 2024. It's about splitting the email atom, exploiting parses to bypass access controls. Basically, a uh, Garrett Edge research of the Port Suica research in his DevCon 32 talk explain how to bypass domain control, domain controls in email fields. For example, uh, a domain a email field that uh, allow you just to put a specific domain. For example, uh, ABC, you know, under uh, gmail.com or github.com. No more. If you put uh, hotmail.com, it is not allowed, something like that, okay? But at the end, he achieved two um, remote code execution with this kind of vulnerability, okay? So I recommend you to check and understand this. So by the way, at the end, Portswigger give us a laboratory, CTF. So let's go to try with the laboratory is at the end of the page bypassing access control is in the export level access the lab perfect so basically the lab is that you have to register a user with a specific domain another domain is not allowed okay so if you put here you read this one if you work for Jin and Juice, please use your Jin, Jin and Juice dot shop email address. Okay. For example, let's go to put here uh, another address, another domain dot com. Let's go to try. Only emails with Jin and shop domains are allowed. Perfect. So the first step is to understand these uh, concepts source roads for example this is an email address this is an email address this is an email address no it is not an email address so roads uh, was used in main transfer protocols in the beginning of the creation of the protocol uh, in is nmp uh, but it is not an email address. Basically, here you specify you specify the email servers that you want that your email address travel. Okay, for example, this is the first email uh, server that your email are going to travel. This is the second email server that your email are going to travel. And in the last part, after this symbol, you specify the re recipient address the receiver address so okay this is not an email address this is a sole root so this is the principal this is the the principal concept that the, the research the post research used to bypass this in the email fields the another concept is the person hub if you have here a person hub you have again a sole root but this is translated to this email address and at the end you put here the email server, email server, well, that your email are going to travel. But with this one, you bypass, you bypass, you bypass the control, okay, with the person, with the person, okay. And then another is the Unix to Unix copy. Uh, Unix to Unix copy spheres basically translate to you have to put here first the domain and after the username. So this one is translated to this email address user space rest.net. Okay, yeah, with this concept in mind, we are going to with the, the first step is to try many charger set with Q encoding. What is Q encoding? Here you for you first you put here the equal that is specified that you are going to use a charger set. What is the charger set? In this case is ISO 8851. 
here you put the Q encoding that uh, specify that you are going to put in the next field the uh, codification. In this case, we're going to put the ABC and uh, with the X X characters of the ASCII. Example so here we have A. The X decimal code is 61. The B 62. C 63. And so okay. So uh, basically this address is translated to this address because this is translated to ABC. Okay. Let's go to see if uh, we are able to bypass this with ISO A859. Admin, admin one, whatever. Registration blocker for security reasons. Okay, no problem. Let's go to the next charger set. It's the same, but uh, right now we are going to try with UTF-8. Um, basically, it's, it's very similar. UTF-8, admin, Okay, no problem. So let's go right now to try it with UTF-7. UTF-7, in this case, uh, we have to put with the base 64 codification, but this is translated to ABC. Uh, after that, you translate this to hexadecimal, and after that, uh, freeze, base 64 hexadecimal, and after mm, the ASCII character. Okay, so this is translated, this codification is translated to ABC. So let's go to try. Attacker. Attacker. One, one. And by the way, uh, there we go. Please check your emails for your account registration link. So basically, you're able to bypass this domain control with a UTF-8. So let's go to build. The final payload, the final payload is this one. You specify here the UTF seven character, the email address. Okay, and um, this is going to translate. For example, this is going to translate to this one. This payload is going to translate to this one. Why? Because here we use the source root uh, mixed with another one of these concepts, okay? So basically, we are going to create with the admin. Let me try if it worked because previously I resolved this. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, please check your check your emails for a con registration link. I forget uh, say you that this this domain you have to put here the domain of the port swigger lab. This is the domain. This is the domain. Okay, so basically I am going to put here this, and I am going to update this. Perfect. So right now, this is going to work. Okay, back to the exploit server. Uh, back to lab, sorry. Reg register email. Uh, admin. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so let's go to the. Yeah, and yeah. Of course, we are able to bypass, we achieve to bypass this domain control. And here we have our, our email. Hello, please follow the link below to configure your email and complete registration. Account registration successful. Perfect. So I'm going to my account. 
I'm going to add admin password admin one two three log in and um, yeah it will put here admin panel and we in, in, if you delete whatever uh, user basically you are able to resolve this challenge this lab delete yeah congratulations you solved the lab so yeah but this are uh, my recommendation is that uh, please try this vulnerability i guess that it's very interesting because you are able here to bypass many controls and also i guess that yeah you can uh, exploit take a code vulnerabilities okay take a code over vulnerabilities and more uh, bypass controls replicate user and, and more so um, try this and let me know in your comments thank you so much